What's up guys, Mandy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm very excited about this one because I'm assuming it's a Star Wars theme. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 December Loot Crate DX box with the theme of Star Wars. Yes! A lot of boxes seem to be celebrating The Last Jedi, which is great for me, so I'm such a fan. Uh, if you're interested in getting this box, I'll go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Here we go. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. For those of you who are wondering, I never received my November DX box. That's why there is none on my channel. But it's supposed to come in January, I guess. I don't really know. Loot Crate. Okay, let's check this out. What is happening here? Now, the DX box is supposed to be kind of the more nicer, bigger box than the regular Loot Crate. This box costs about, I don't know, is it like $50 a month? I don't really know. But... Let's go ahead and see what we got. The first one we got is this Ray from Jakku. It's a Mighty Mugs. <laughs> so it's a figure. This isn't bad. It's like, is it electronic? Oh, you can, <laughs> this is so funny. You can like press its head down and it changes its like face. So it looks like there's, I think three different ones. Fierce, angry, happy. Yeah, fierce, angry, happy. Oh, I've never seen this before. I didn't even know this was, this is cool. I've never seen this toy before. This reminds me of the, uh, kind of reminds me of the Mini Mates, but I think it's different. So this is a Hasbro product. Um, but yeah, oh, that's neat. I'm excited to put that on my desk. Do I have to take it out of the box or can I just leave it in here and just like kids press it? I feel like you'd have to take it out of the box. That's cool though, okay. That's very unique, different. Um, we got a pair of BB-8 socks. I think this is what they gave us for free because the other box was late. Because I've received, do you know how many pairs of these specific BB-8 socks I've received from Loot Crate? Not only do we get them in either like our box or a loot wear, they've, every time they like make a mistake, they always give us BB-8 socks. We have our pin and the theme was, well I guess Star Wars, but this is for December 2017. And it looks like we have probably Poe Dameron's helmet or a, an X-wing fighter's helmet, an X-wing pilot's, an X-wing pilot fighter's helmet. Is what they're called? Anyways, I'm not sure. But there you go. It's a cool little pin. Next we have these, are these 3D glasses? Why do we have 3D glasses? It says Star Wars Last Jedi Real D3D. I feel like this is what you get when you go to the movies. Oh, these are really 3D glasses. Why are we, why would they give us these? That's such an odd product to get. Are these three? Oh, these are cool. These are like giant R2D2 glasses. Are these 3D? They are 3D. Um, it's like a unique product, but I'm like, why would you give this box? Like, I don't like seeing 3D movies because it hurts my my brain. I just don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. Um, I guess I've always wanted my own pair of 3D glasses, I suppose. Not really though. But they are a cool design, so that's neat. I guess if I ever decide to see any 3D movie, I'll just bring my own glasses and be like, no, these are mine. So that's cool. Did they give out different types during the movie or something? Huh. Next we have a journal. And it's, oh, this is a nice one. It says, may the force be with you. Let's take this out. Okay, so like, I can't even wear these for a long period of time. Okay, so this is a cool little bound journal thing. It says, may the force be with you. Uh, and then there's, I'm assuming this also means may the force be with you, but in a different language. And then on this little journal thing, you have the Jedi logo right here. I don't know what language that is, but there you go. What is this? Is this a, okay, so it is like, it's just a, like a journal notebook. There's no, uh, the papers are blank. Good little like, if you want to do like a drawing pad. Oh, the first thing was a quote from Yoda, but you have it in the back cover that's actually in English. So I think this is made to look like one of the Jedi books, right? That's what I'm gonna say, but this is a cool item. I like that. Really? Aww. Oh. <gasps> okay, so this was, I was complaining in my other Loot Crate box about loot crate in general because they are increasing the prices of their box but I got an email that said that they were missing one of the items but they were going to ship us our box first and then they were going to ship the item in January so before we do the shirt this is the little tag that we got and this explains why we got the BB-8 socks so it says that your this is the 
We're supposed to get a, a replica lightsaber. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for that. A 45, a 0.45 scale of Ray's screen used lightsaber. Oh my gosh, this is cool. I'm excited. But because they don't have it in here, they're giving us the free, the free socks, you know, the BB-8 socks. But I can't wait to get that. I hope it's super cool. I'm so excited. This is like information about the lightsaber. You can read that if you'd like. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Uh, you can put this code in, which I'm gonna use, to get the poster that they handed out during opening night. Because I went opening night, but I didn't get a poster. I guess they ran out. But I can get one now, which is cool. And then the last item we have is our shirt. We have a Star Wars license men's medium. It's like a blue with tones of black in it shirt. I can see the Jedi symbol through the shirt. It's a very soft shirt. I like the feel of the shirt. And then on the back, there's a little Star Wars logo here. This is cool. It's super plain. This reminds me of a shirt that I would get at Target. So I really like the shirt. It's super soft. It's just, I like how it says Star Wars on the back too. I like this shirt. It's very nice. Okay, let's go and do some pricing recap. Now it's hard because we don't have all the items. So we're just going to have to kind of wing it a little bit. Oh, look, here's the mega crate that no one ever wins. But maybe you can win it. There you go. I mean, I don't actually know how you win that, but. Okay, here's our pricing and recap card. So let's go ahead and do this. The first item we have is our shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and give that $12. I think that's easily a $12 shirt, it's very nice. We had our Star Wars Mighty Mugs figure. I've literally never seen these before. Oh, it's because they're like new. It's like a pre-release. They haven't even released these yet. But these are going on Amazon for about $12.50. That's, I could see that. I would pay $12.50 for that. So we're gonna go ahead and give that $12.50. We had our, oh, this is the helmet of Dosmit Reyes. I would have never gotten that, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and give that $5. That's a license pin. And then we had our, these are the bonus courtesy for of Real D, Real D 3D glasses. I still don't understand like why they would give us these, but it is cool that we could potentially bring these and look like R2D2. Um, I would go ahead and give these $3. I don't know like when you went to the movies if they if you could like buy them or I think you just got them for free. I don't know if they look like this though. I'm not really quite sure. We have our Star Wars Jedi journal. It's a very cool little journal here. I think you could give this anywhere from eight to ten dollars. Uh, journals are definitely, they vary in pricing, but I wouldn't mind giving this to be honest ten dollars. I think it's really nice. I love the the binding that it has for some reason. It's very, it's bound very nicely. Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and give that ten dollars. I That might be pricing at maybe a dollar too much because I think you could easily give it $8.99 but we're gonna give it 10. Uh, they gave us the free socks. These I would give five dollars but it's technically not a product and so before we so like okay the pricing without the lightsaber is $47.50. Now we're supposed to get a Star Wars Ray's lightsaber scaled miniature replica and it's gonna be a licensed Lucasfilm product and it's gonna have a certificate of authenticity. I don't, I can't really give you a value for that because I, I don't have it in my hand, so I don't know. Like sometimes they might talk these things up and they might be crap, but I'd hope that this isn't crap because they delayed their box and whatever for this product. So um, I would probably say that that item's gonna be worth anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 dollars. If we assume it's gonna be worth 15, I know we shouldn't do this. Then we're gonna say this box is worth about $62.50. And that's including the socks, which technically isn't part of the box. Hopefully that lightsaber is really worth 20. But we pay $50 a month for this box, which means we got $12.50 extra value. Now here's the thing, for a $50 box, we're looking for $15 extra value. So it ran short. But again, it could be that the lightsaber is worth $30. I just don't know. Like I really don't know. But everything else I priced fairly, I think actually fairly well. You might be able to give the 3D glasses one more dollar, but other than that, I think everything else is priced pretty legit. So it's really the lightsaber that we are waiting for. So it's hard because I it's hard to rate this box since we don't have those items. I don't really know what the extra value is going to be like, but I'll be honest. If I'm being 100% honest, I'm going to say that I love Star Wars, so I'm biased, and I actually really enjoy this box. I wish that it got better value. I can already see that the value is lacking a little bit, so I definitely wish that it 
it had a little bit better value. But in general, I like the types of items that we got. I like the shirt a lot. I like the journal a lot. I like the Mighty Mugs. I feel like I'm going to love the lightsaber. So I enjoyed this box. And if I had to rate this box, even though it probably didn't get as much value that we want it to get, I would probably give this box a 4.75 out of 5 noobs. The reason it doesn't get a 5 for me is specifically because they are missing an item. I like that they gave us an extra pair of socks. I don't know how many BB-8 socks I can have, but um, I literally like everything in this box. So I feel like once we get everything, I'm going to love it. But for now, since we don't have the lightsaber, I'm going to say 4.75 out of 5 noobs. But once we get the lightsaber replica, I feel like I'm going to give this box a 5 out of 5 noobs. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching it. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Now, again, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I feel like I'm biased, but... Um, I like this box. I think they did a good job. The, the DX box has been struggling a lot lately, and I think that this one's good. I wish that the lightsaber had come in this box. Like, I wish they had everything on time, but I'm still really, really excited to receive it. So, yeah, I don't know. This box is, like, making me excited. So, I like it, but let me know what you guys thought about it down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly, but it is going to be an old one because I still haven't received an updated subscribers list from YouTube. Like, it's, it's glitchy and it's not updating, so we'll just have to wait and see if they can fix that. But before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Cat Play. Cat Play, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos. I appreciate all of your support. And the mystery ice cream was actually a lot of fun. Surprisingly, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I wish I would have bought more because we needed it for the spicy ramen challenge. But um, again, Cat. Oh, it's not Cat Play. I'm sorry, it's K Play. K Play, you get the video shout out. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. K play, it's K play, K A Y play. Uh, K play, you get the video shot. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. Yes, K play, shout out to you. Shout out to you, K play. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a greatly fantastical, amazingly awesome day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.